Well, Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is answering your plant and garden questions. You can email them at tips at channel3000.com. Hi, Lisa. Hi, guys. Hey. How are you? Good. Pretty good. Got good. lots of questions. Did you get the picture I sent you? I did not. I haven't been at my desk for like an hour. Well, here it is. You can't see it. Anyway, it looks like chicks and hens. And she wants to know if they can be planted outside. It's a potted plant of succulents. Looks like a succulent, yeah. Yeah, hens and chicks are hardy here, but some of the ones that have a similar form are echeveria, and they are not so much. Um, why don't you send me that photo tomorrow, and I'll have the plant desk answer her I, and I, look at the photo directly. Right, I send it to you, so check your email. Yeah, I will check. Okay, great. Let's go now to, we've got some hosta questions. I have a few houses that are still in pots from a nursery purchased midsummer and haven't had a chance to plant them. Will it be okay <laughs> to plant them next week? If not, what's the best overwintering care for them? I know everybody's procrastinating, myself included. I still have a couple evergreens that I think I'm gonna winter over in a corner. Um, hosta are pretty tough. So I think that they'd be okay. She should get them in as soon as possible. But definitely once the ground freezes, she should, the, the, they should mulch them so that they don't get heaved out of the soil as the soil freezes and thaws. And make sure that they, are, um, that they get a good drink of water, I'd say every week or 10 days until the ground freezes. Okay, all right. Lynn and Carrie are both asking the same question. They wanna know what is the best way to prepare rose bushes for the winter? So most of the rose bushes that you'll find on the market now are hardy roses and really don't need much prepping. You could certainly mulch them once the ground is frozen, maybe put a little bit extra bark mulch or some straw or hay on them. They really don't need to be cut back until spring. As a matter of fact, it's better to wait until spring to do that. If you still have some hybrid roses, which are like the fancy, you know, the long stem tea roses or that kind of thing, those will need a winter cover and so what you can do is once the leaves are fall off you can cut them back but you're going to want to leave the cones aside until it gets really cold with the temperature still uh you know on a warming trend it's too soon to put those cones on yeah 50s and 60s next week so hold off on that yes doris writes because yep. of the hot dry stretch we had this summer i lost some of my hostas will they come back next spring if they're well established, I would say probably you, he will see them come back next spring. Hostas, like I said, are super tough and really vigorous. And as long as they got through, I would say through the end of July or into August, there should be enough oomph left to get them to reflush next year. But he might want to water them. They'll be stressed. Okay. Okay, we have a question from Sean. He said, we have an array of tall, like six feet tall, privet branches. Did I say that right? Okay. Do you know what that is? Privet, yeah. Okay. It's a hedge. He's, he's, <laughs> he says they're, you know everything. They're extremely brittle and they have newish green growth. Um, are they still alive? And how, how far back can or should they cut them? Privet can be cut back quite a lot. I wouldn't do it now. I would wait until spring. And I would think that renewal pruning is probably going to be the best bet. So each bush take out about 25% of the branches all the way to the ground. That will flush some new growth from the bottom. And if you do that for a couple of years, you'll get a much better looking plant than you would if you just like mowed it back on a straight, um, you know, just straight. And because sometimes they branch weirdly. So try renewal pruning, but wait until spring to do it. Okay. All right, Dell's writing about fire bushes. I wonder if she means burning bushes. They're about five feet tall and can how far can they cut them back burning bushes are a lot like the privet uh 25 30 percent to be cut back if you want if she wants to shape them and cut the size back a little bit okay okay dan in deforest said he has a sunken area in his yard where a tree was removed can he desod that sunken area before adding dirt to fill it in or just add dirt over the existing grass um so he's, he's got a sunken area and the sod has shrunk, mm -hmm. has, has, has sunk. I believe that's right. I would think that he's, he can put soil over the top of it and the sod will just sort of decompose the existing grass and then he can reseed if he wants to do that. It would be hard, otherwise he'd have to take the sod out, cut it out, backfill and then put the sod back. Either one will work. All right. Lots of questions and not enough time. Never is for Lisa. Lisa, thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you all for writing in.